deserted streets in New Zealand's capital. This is the reality of life in a country under lockdown. I need everyone to take this seriously. The Prime Minister delivering a blunt message to New Zealanders not complying with the four-week isolation order. They are putting the health of all New Zealanders at risk and it must stop. There are 368 coronavirus cases here, a tally which will rise. Sadly, an increase in cases is expected. In fact, it is the whole reason why we are in a lockdown. However, if we keep to the lockdown rules and limit our contact with others, we should start to see the impacts of that. Jacinda Ardern believes many of the 650,000 New Zealanders living in Australia are not getting a fair go because they are not eligible for welfare benefits. They are Australia's best migrant workforce and I'd like to think that they could be supported during this horrific time for everyone alongside their fellow Australian workers. Ms Ardern is calling for a short-term exemption for those facing hardship during the current economic pain. The Kiwi leader has raised the issue directly with Scott Morrison and insists she will not relent. In our minds, um, we are providing support for Australians who are here and we would hope under these extraordinary circumstances that that could be and should be provided to New Zealanders in Australia. Jackson Williams, Sky News, Wellington.